Discovery International Space Station, the President of the United States. Hello, Commander, can you hear us? Oh, I got it. President, welcome aboard the International Hello, Space Station, here. where we're joined with our uh, international uh, crew from the uh, Space Shuttle Discovery. Welcome aboard. Glad to hear your voice. We hear you loud and clear, sir. Well, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to speak with us. We've got uh, a crew of wonderful uh, school children here who are all interested in space, and we've got uh, some members of Congress who are like big kids when it comes to talking to astronauts. Uh, I I'm told that you're cruising at about uh, 17,000 miles per hour, so uh, we're, gl we're glad that uh, you are using the hands-free phone. Mr. President, uh, we go around the planet once every 90 minutes. It's uh, quite, a, quite a thrill, and it is very fast, and we see 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets every day. That, that is unbelievable. Well, the, the, the first thing we want to do is just let you know how proud we are of you. Uh, I've got to say, especially uh, once I found out that you're from Bellwood, Illinois, President, it was a beautiful place to grow up, and I have a lot of roots that are still there. Well, that's great. The, uh, we are uh, really excited about the project that you're doing. My understanding is, is that you are installing uh, some additional solar panels on the space station, uh, and that's actually going to increase uh, the number of people that can work out of the space station. Is that correct? Sir, that's correct. We've uh, roughly doubled the amount of, uh, of solar power available for experimentation and for supporting a larger crew, and we hope to go to a crew of six and a more aggressive experimental program this year. Well, this is really exciting because we're uh, investing back here on, uh, on the ground a, a whole array of solar and other renewable energy projects. And so to find out that you're doing this uh, up at the space station uh, is uh, particularly exciting. Can, can I ask how exactly do you end up uh, installing uh, these solar panels? What's involved? Somebody want to give us a rundown on how you go about doing it? Yes, sir. First, it comes up on a uh, truss segment, which is about five feet long. We use a robotic arm, arm to attach it to the end of another truss segment, and then once that's attached and bolted on to spacewalks, then we'll go ahead and unfurl or actually deploy the solar arrays in the position so that we can unfurl them from inside doing uh, commanding through software. How about how long does it take? Spacewalk, you put it all together, about six hours, but to actually do the commanding to actually deploy them out to their full length only takes about two hours. Well, obviously, we're, we're really proud of, about uh, the extraordinary work that uh, our American astronauts are doing. Uh, you know, you are a representative of the dedication and uh, sense of adventure and discovery uh, that you know, we're so proud of. But one of the things that's wonderful about this is that it is an international space station, and I know that we have our uh, Japanese and, and uh, Russian uh, counterparts on board as well. Uh, uh, we, we'd love to uh, say hello to them and uh, hope that uh, that this is an example of the kind of spirit of cooperation that uh, you know, we can apply not just in space, but uh, here on, on the ground as well. Yeah, it's an honor to, uh, to have a chance to talk with you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, uh, we have a Russian crew member, American crew member, and uh, I'm from Japan, and we have 15 countries uh, working together in this wonderful project. National Space Station, as well as on the ground in space, and this really symbolized the uh, future of the uh, scientific development of the world, and I'm just uh, happy to be part of this. That's wonderful. Mr. 
to president, we work together um, to everything. It's really, really important for, for us. And uh, American, Russian, Japanese, Italian, and to everybody, people, all people, work in the space for peace. Now, I notice you're bouncing around uh, quite a bit there, guys. Uh, are, are, are you wearing uh, uh, something to strap you down, or are you about to float away? Mr. President, uh, we're just uh, holding on with our toes uh, onto some uh, handrails below us, and at any moment we could all just easily float up. And that's one of the fun things about, uh, about flying in space. We get a chance to talk to a lot of kids and show them uh, all the adventures that we have flying around. Uh, it's also, uh, it's not just a, a lot of fun. Uh, it's a little bit uh, tough on our bodies. We have to exercise. And so we get a chance to talk to a lot of schools while we're up here, schools all over the planet, to help inspire the next generation. Yeah, I hear that you're going to be talking to my uh, alma mater, Puno School, when you fly over Hawaii. Looking forward to that, sir. All right. Well, you tell them aloha. Listen, we've got a bunch of young people here. I want to see if uh, any of them uh, ha have some questions. Anybody have a question over here? Okay. This. Hold on. We've got a young lady right here who's got a question. As an astronaut, what do you eat? Did you hear that question? They want to know what you guys are eating up there. We're, we're eating really well. Uh, we eat a lot of, uh, it's, it's prepared at NASA, but it's kind of like the backpacking food. It's uh, dehydrated, we rehydrate it and, uh, and warm it up. Uh, we also use a, have food similar to Meals Ready to Eat that they use for the military and that uh, a few of us ate last year when the hurricane came through Houston. Do you guys still drink Tang up there? <laughs> <laughs> I've got Bill Nelson here, and uh, he says that that's uh, that, that's been taken off the menu. <laughs> Any uh, that, that's by, by the way before uh, the time of uh, you young people, we used to drink tang. Uh, we got a young man right here. Hold on one second. Um, can you play video games in space? Can you play video games in space? We can, in fact. And in fact, uh, a few years ago when I was up here for six months, I had a, a video game that I used to play in my spare time. Unfortunately, we don't have much spare time. So we can. We have a lot of laptop computers. But for the most part, we, we, we stay real busy doing uh, real work. Uh, the, uh, t tell us what, what kinds of uh, experiments uh, are you doing? Once you got the panel up, uh, what kinds of uh, other activities are are you doing? Is is it mostly just maintaining uh, the craft, uh, or uh, are, are there certain experiments or uh, projects that you're engaged in as well? Well, sir, we have. Uh experiments already up here that we've been doing for many years and we'll be able to double that with the addition of the solar array that our shuttle friends brought up. We do a lot of experiments on combustion, understanding materials, understanding how, you know, we're guinea pigs, so understanding how people's bodies change in space and all this is in preparation for long duration missions to Moon and Mars. And the exciting thing about doing science up here is we really don't know what we don't know and that gives you the greatest potential for learning. And we've had a lot of cases where people have set up experiments and we've conducted them here on the space station only to find out that we've learned something new, something more uh, about the fundamentals of the, of the uh, processes and the, the um, science. So it's a really great place to learn a lot.